I'm going on a 30-day oceanographic expedition, and I'm excited to share it with you. For those of you who know who I am, hello, I'm alive, unlike my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, hi, I'm Maria, a marine biologist turned science communicator. So let's talk about this expedition that I will be going on. What will we be researching? So we are all life. Your life, I'm life, this plant is life. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. All life forms are made of carbon, and carbon is in the atmosphere in the form of several things, but mostly carbon dioxide. And how does that carbon dioxide become available to us? Via photosynthetic organisms, like for example, plants and phytoplankton. They capture the carbon from the atmosphere and then it trickles down the chain until it reaches us. For these organisms to do this, they need to do something called photosynthesis for which they need light. The deep ocean is dark, very dark literally completely dark but contrary to what we previously thought there's a lot of life in the deep ocean much more than we thought possible what is likely happening is that the life down there in the deep sea is being fueled by carbon sinking from the surface. But there is a catch and there is a problem. Every measurement we've done so far of the amount of carbon sinking from the surface to the deep sea, to the deeper layers of the ocean, is much less than the carbon needed to sustain the life that we now know exists down there. So. Where is the missing carbon? Ta -ta! That is what our expedition is about, at least part of it. The majority of the researchers will be tackling this question, and we will be trying to understand how tiny particles called marine snow might be the answer to this question. Have you ever been swimming and you see these tiny specks just floating around in the water? That's marine snow. They are basically clumps of organic matter full of carbon. So we will be investigating these tiny little marine snow, how they might be involved in fueling the life in the deep sea, and as well how microbes that live on these particles and around these particles might be part of the process. This is just uh, background information to what we will be doing, right? If you want to learn more about specifics, you can follow me on Instagram or follow the Instagram, the University of Vienna's Instagram, or the Microbial Oceanography Group from the University of Vienna's Instagram, all which will be linked down below. And I will be updating regularly on all of those channels. And you will find out more details about what we are doing, about the work we do on board, how we tackle these issues from a methodological standpoint. We will be collecting several deep sea samples from these stations, those dots with numbers. And I hope you join us in this journey. I will be sharing most of the time things on Instagram because of our data usage policy. I'm not sure if I'll manage to upload anything really substantial here on YouTube, maybe shorts, but even then I'm not entirely sure, but I'll also definitely create something for here YouTube at the end of the expedition. So guys, microphone. Oops. So if this is something that you think might be interesting and fun, join us, join me. I will be embarking very soon, but if you have specific questions related to working on a cruise ship, this is a great opportunity to ask because I will check what people are asking and see what are the main questions people have and try to address them during the trip. It's not my first rodeo, as one says, I've been on a couple of research expeditions before during my PhD, but I was there as a researcher. This is the first time that I am going as a full-time science communicator, so it will be a different experience, but I am so looking forward to it, and I'm really sorry to all the researchers that I will be annoying <laughs> during, the research, during the expedition to do content for me. Anyways, look forward to that and see you in the next one.